All right, this video is going to show the flip function in CS1 graphics using Python. Now, the first thing, of course, that we need to do is to import our CS1 graphics library. All right, now, usually, I would go ahead and set our canvas, it would just be the normal canvas of 200, 200, but I'm going to do 400, 400. That way we have much more room to work with. And I'll go ahead and I'll pull this up so we can see it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and work with a square here. And I'm going to name my square S. That way I don't have to keep working on sw writing out the whole name. Now I'm going to set it to 60, which means it's 60 pixels wide, which means its reference point will be 30, 30 within the circle. Alright, now just so we have some color, I'm going to go ahead and set the fill color to black. Alright, and I'm also going to move it by 200, 200, and that way it's in the center of the screen. And now that I have it moved and the color set, I'm going to add it to the document. Now, at this point, to actually flip it, we will do the name of the object which is s dot flip and then empty parentheses now when we do this the reference point is sent set to the very middle of this to the square so when we flip it all it's actually gonna do is turn over on itself so when I hit enter you're not gonna actually see anything at all and if I do it again you're still not gonna see anything so now let's go ahead and try and adjust the reference point and we're gonna do this by Typing out adjust reference, and by and by actually doing this, we're going to go ahead and change where the reference is, and I'm going to move this down 30, 30, which will now put it at the bottom right of the square. So now, when I flip it, you'll see that it actually turns over instead of just in the middle and not moving at all. And I'll show you again. Okay, so now let's try a different point. We will go ahead and do, we'll adjust the reference this time, and we will do negative 30, 0. This will put us at the bottom middle. So basically, we're, at, we're in the middle of the square, but we're at the bottom this time. All right, and we'll see what it does. Now notice it doesn't do anything because it's trying to flip on that, on that vertical line. And because that vertical line is in the middle of the square, even though it's on the bottom now, it's not gonna you're not gonna see any difference. Alright, so now let's try another one. We'll go ahead and adjust the reference again. Once my uh, little window pops up here, my cheat sheet. Alright, and we're gonna set this another negative thirty zero. Now this will put it at the bottom left. Now that means now it's all the way on the bottom left corner. So now when we do it, you notice it actually flips the opposite direction. Now flip's kind of a f tricky thing to mess with. It's hard to explain. The best thing is to actually just get into Python and try it yourself. All right, now we're going to try something else. And I'm going to actually set the reference point. I'm going to actually move it by 120 and negative 30. Now where this is actually going to put it is up at the middle of the, it's going to actually be in the middle of the square, but actually 60 to the right. So it's going to be at the same height at the, as the middle of the square, but 60 over to the right. Now you should see a very large flip this time. And see how it's very large? And I'll do it for you again. All right. And, you, and with any other thing, you can actually make this a loop. And by doing this, we'll set our variable equal to zero. And we will tell it while x is less than, we'll go ahead and do 20. That way you get to see it a couple times. And we will say while x is less than 20, we want our square name s to flip. Now, since that reference point is still set that way, it's going to flip big. You're going to see the difference. Now here's where I actually messed up at I need to delete this now we before we do anything after the x equals zero we need to do our time function so we need to do from time import all 
Now we could have just done import sleep, but this way it'll let us import everything. All right, now we can go ahead and do while x is less than 20. And we can go ahead and do our loop. We can do s dot flip. All right, and now we want it to. Now we don't want it to sleep for too long, so we want to be able to see the difference. So I'll do two tenths of a second. I'll let it sleep for two tenths of a second. And of course, so that it'll end and not go on infinitely, we need to set x equals to x plus 1. That way, when it gets to 20, it'll stop. Now, when I hit enter, if you watch my graphics canvas, it'll flip 20 times back and forth and then stop where it originally started. And that is the basics of using flip in the CS1 graphics library.